and I'm Zoe and welcome back to our podcast um so basically the point of our podcast is to just share our stories with you we're going to be answering questions and kind of just talking about our life experiences and in aims to make you laugh we're not really here to give you life advice and take them as you will if we tell you stories and you're like that's a huge mistake don't make the same mistake but if you're like I'm gonna rock that rock it um exactly <laughs> Just some backstory. Zoe and I have known each other for like 10 years. And I think we've really been through it all. It's been 10 years. Grade two. A fun fact. 10 years ago, Zoe and I did childhood choir together. <laughs> uh, so it was this nice, huge church. community church choir. Um, I don't actually know the name of it. It was like, we just called it Jennifer's Choir or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know. But there are a whole bunch of us in it. There's I'm a whole bunch of people it. that we Anyways. know. Anyways. <laughs> Some louder than others. <laughs> but yeah. There was one year where there was this girl, and she was so loud. She was so loud that I would cry every time I got into the car. I kid you not. We complained like six times. We complained And about- then we left the choir because I had to make our point. <laughs> That's so not okay. Okay. Well, sorry, girl. <laughs> Anyways. Here's us giving you the questions and our answers and kind of just talking about um, our opinions and stuff. Yeah, we're going to share a few story times as well. So the first thing you'd like us to talk about, um, high school topics on like friends, relationships, and health. <laughs> um, I have a very unpopular opinion on high school friendships and relationships. And that's that, like, they're, like, high school is five years of your life, and, like, that's not in the big scheme of things, so, like, don't overstress and don't overthink things, like, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, my biggest piece of advice for people in terms of, like, friendships is, like, find friends that make you laugh and that you make laugh, because at the end of the day, like, high school is really not that big of a deal, and, like, my happiest memories are the ones, like, spent laughing and enjoying my times with friends, so find people that your humor is very in line with. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. I just think it's not that deep. And I think that's a really, like, unpopular opinion. I feel like a lot of people are like, these are lifelong best friends. Like, these are this, that, and the other. And honestly, like, personally, my parents aren't friends with any of their high school friends. And so maybe that's why I'm saying this. So I'm going to really take that topic. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not one to speak on relationships. <laughs> me either. <laughs> it's not coming I don't from do me. that. I don't commit uh, to that. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, not a me thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, your high school experience and funny party stories. <laughs> well, Zoe had a birthday party, <laughs> and that was probably one of my favorite things I've ever been to in my entire life. Um, a lot of things happened I wasn't aware of until like three weeks oh after. Oh my <laughs> god, the shower curtain story. Okay. Yes, thank you, Sarah and Matt, Matt, Matt for fixing that. Um, so basically at Zoe's party, I don't know what people were doing. Shower curtain broke. And I spent, I would say, like 30 minutes trying to fix that just for it to be taken down later. Or broken down later. But that's okay. That's one of my prouder accomplishments. I walked in and there was blood everywhere, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think someone got punched. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. I mean, all God. I saw somebody fall down a case of stairs. Maddie fell down a case of stairs. <laughs> That's not funny, but like, the- <laughs> I'm replaying this scene in my head. Is it really a good party if, if someone somebody- doesn't fall down the stairs, though? <laughs> like, somebody ate my whole <laughs> self. And then when I accused him, he was so sorry. And he was like, I'm so sorry I did that. <laughs> so what was it? something on my wall in sharpie yeah <laughs> zoe and i wanted to do a drive through experience for you guys <laughs> wait where <laughs> up, up. that way oh i fucking missed it <laughs> yeah it's fine we can do it on the way back so we're wait no i just took the game. completely wrong way <laughs> <laughs> i have the worst directional abilities i it's not even a joke like it's not like a joke i i actually wait Oh my god, I completely... So, actually, <laughs> shout out to the Ali family. Thank you, Nyla, Sally, Zoya, and Anika. 
I don't think anything was with us, but anyways. Um, <laughs> so there's this game that they they played in the car, and it's like whatever happens in the tunnel stays in the tunnel. So me and Sarah are gonna play that because I feel like we have a bunch of bottled up anger we need to get out. Stop. So we're gonna play that on the way back, but Sarah just missed it. So. Hey, what can you get? What, what can I get? You get anything you want. I used to work here, so I'm kind of like the expert at Starbucks. <laughs> can I? Can I get the question? Yeah. Can I get a venti iced matcha green tea latte, half sweet with light ice? Yeah, venti iced matcha tea latte. We're gonna do it half sweet with light ice. Yes, please. Can you start? Stop. Okay, so a fun fact about me. <laughs> I had an addiction to caffeine. So it was like really unhealthy actually. Um, and so as of last week, I've stopped drinking coffee because it's really bad for you. And I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't stay in that cycle. So when the person asked, can you give us some advice on relationships and health? Uh, no, I can. <laughs> I can't, I'm no. sorry, I wish I could. That's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna roll up the wind. The wind. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's do a taste test. I. Ooh. Ooh, mama! That is good. That is good. This is an excellent replacement to coffee. Mm -mm. <laughs> that is hurtful. That don't invalidate my feelings. <laughs> Roll down and say I like your coat. Yeah. Oh, she's on the phone. We're it's okay. Gonna... Do it again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Miss Avery Duncan. Duncan. Oh. <laughs> Motivation, tips to study, are funny. Well, I don't study. I so I like, wouldn't ask me for that one. I see, couldn't tell you. That's like at the beginning of the podcast, or we, we were talking about how um, we can't give motherly advice, and this is why. Like, because I do everything wrong, but like I get it done anyways. So. <laughs> that's the thing. At the end of the day, like I'm not gonna tell you my study tips and my motivation because I, I don't have like a legit thing, which I should probably figure out if I want to go to university. Not a thing. Um, how do you pronounce that? What? Image <laughs> next to it. Pew. Pew. That's cute. Pew. 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 Duck. Cute. Anyways, um, but if you want to know how I've succeeded in school and that I get good grades, um, caffeine. Yeah, that played a huge part. <laughs> like, what's your like forte in school? Like, My what? Forte in school. I don't go. I don't know. <laughs> I'm equally bad. No, Zoe's good at choir. We're not gonna talk about that. Actually, that's a topic for later. Okay, Zoe and I took just to choir in high school and um, worst years of my life. Zo take it from me, <laughs> never take choir. <laughs> Maybe it's just us. I'm like, I don't know. I I I'm not a good singer, but I was like, you know what? I'll take. Choir. I'm not gonna actually turn. You're not off. horrible. Thanks. Third word. There's definitely worse, yeah. But <laughs> again, we're not gonna name names. Oh yeah. But if you were in choir from grade eight to eleven, you, you know, know who exactly I really miss? who I'm talking about. Selena. She was. She, there was this grade twelve. I don't in think our she choir. misses us. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> it's true, but um. I'm, but I love Selena. Yeah. She was. She's the type of person that like tells you how it is, and like in high school you don't get a lot of that. Um, so here's like some high school tidbits. In high school you don't get a lot of real, raw, authentic people. You get a lot of fake people and like people pleasers who want like other people to like them and kind of live for this. Like you can live for the social life and like be yourself still, but a lot of people just live for the social life and become a person they're not um, for the social life. And meeting people who are not like that and who don't care and it's very rare it's it's rare and it's really refreshing so be like that be like that be an off be your true self um and yeah because more people will like you and more people will re recognize you and appreciate you for that
I hate when people do this. Okay, road pet peeve. In a four-way, people are just blocking it so people can't get through. Like, that's so annoying. When you say four-way, my mind goes somewhere else. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Anyways, moving on. Let's not hit the pedestrian. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, next we have my favorite topic. Pedophiles. What? <laughs> Yours isn't even my drink. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, basically, my take on pedophiles. Like actually, I don't really know what the right word for. I don't know what the right word is. That's why I'm like, I'm not trying to like. Okay, we're not gonna call them pedophiles. Yeah. Um, because technically they haven't actually done anything yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But like the things they say can sometimes make you uncomfortable. But like in recent experiences, there have been a few cases. A few cases of the pedo. Pedo? Pedo? Did you just say pedo? What do you say? You're getting me off topic. Okay, sorry. A <laughs> few times, some older men have come up to me and my friends and they've been like, oh, let's take you out for dinner. Oh, you're looking real nice tonight. Oh, you're sexy. <laughs> I was going to ask, is it like in a fatherly way or in like a... <laughs> oh, no, not at all. Then you said, okay, yes, okay. I've been asked out on dates by literally... I couldn't even tell you. Walking downtown at night. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do men? Me That's and my, my friend were literally followed walking downtown like a few weeks ago. Let's not hit this person. <laughs> <laughs> but these two men were following us as we were walking downtown. And this wasn't with like everyone around. It was a Friday night. All of the club, for some reason, it's a pandemic, people go home. But Clubs were open and shit? Yeah, it was like a club. So, <laughs> these two men were following us, and I had to call my friend to come and pick us up because I was like, okay, we've been walking for like 12 blocks here, and we were so painful. So we crossed the street, and they like ended up staying on the other side, but they like kept looking over at us. So we just like stayed together, you know, and then we went inside this one place, and our friend had to come and pick us up, but then, <clears throat> luckily, she was around and we had plans that night anyway. But it was terrifying. That like, is older high men that's keep it to yourself. Wait, how <laughs> how old? They were like forty maybe. I don't know. I don't wanna like accuse anyone of it. Accu yeah, I don't wanna you accuse don't know anyone. Because I don't know what their intentions were. But it's just kinda terrifying. Dude, like, why do people fall like that's like don't do that. But, okay, here is a piece of advice my mom told me, and they talked about it on the Oprah show. Yes, Matina! <laughs> um, if you're being followed, or, like, especially if it's, like, a tight space, so, like, downtown, like, you have a lot of, like, moving space, and there's a lot of other people there. If you're, like, in an alley, and there's someone, and you know there's someone behind you, you turn around, and I know you probably don't want to do this, and it's probably, like, the most scary thing, you need, like, you could do. You turn around, and you look them dead in the eyes, because now you have their identity. Now you know what they look like and now you could profile them if needed. Because like a lot of people just want to attack somebody and not obviously kill them because that's a lot more serious than like just um, attacking someone. But um, my you bad look them- could never. What? My bad memory could never. <laughs> okay, my, my, my fear could never. I could never, I, I, and I, I don't know if I, I, at the end of the day I probably could because like I know I would have to do that. But like looking someone dead in the eyes and just like being able to recognize them. They'll run away. Like that, that happened to my mom and the guy ran right away. Well, they come after you and kill you. Well, yeah, well, you gotta take that risk. Because it's more likely that they're gonna attack you than kill you, you know? Okay, on the SOS, on the app, I, on the iPhone, on the health app, you can, um, I need to come back and tell about Um, you can sign up five emergency contacts so that when you press your home phone button five times and you're making like an emergency call and I'll call them and tell them that you need help too. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to go to the next question. Pedophiles. I'm not, mm, my stories are a little too personal. Oh. I don't think you'd want to hear about them. Anyways. 
Next question. <laughs> Society and how hard it is to keep up with. Oh, yeah. I don't keep up with it at all. Okay, yeah. That's what I was... Whoa, this much can I believe? Um, Go down that way! That's how you get there. Zoe! <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> oh, no! Keep up with it. Your mom's calling you. Oh, well, we can't answer that at the moment. Okay. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> um... Society. Okay. You either keep up with it, and you have an immense amount of stress, or you be yourself, and... and you have no cares for it. And you have, yeah, and you have no cares for it. Oh, my drink fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> my drink broke! Mine didn't. Because the stupid thing landed on it. That is an awfully big hill. When did we go uphill? We haven't! <laughs> You told me to go this way to get to the tunnel. <laughs> and I don't think that's right, but I'm doing it. <laughs> of course it's right. Oh yeah, I know where I am. No, you don't. I mean, of course I do. What was it? Actually, yeah, yeah. We're on um, Adam Street. Adam Street. <laughs> <Street. laughs> <laughs> How do you pronounce? <laughs> that's not what it's called. Adam Mac. <laughs> Venables. Okay, I need you to take this. <laughs> My arm! Why don't you put it in the front so you can grab it? Oh. I know. So now we need to figure out how to get to the highway, and I think I can do that. That way, him up, <laughs> up there. <laughs> Zoe! Why are you saying that? That's to Burnaby. No. <laughs> <laughs> that thing there, that's the highway. The overpass. Yeah. Oh, we are in Burnaby. <laughs> wow, look at the view. It's actually beautiful. I mean, I like cityscape. Okay, that's another fun, lighthearted question. <laughs> cityscape or landscape? I'm asking you a question. <laughs> landscape or cityscape? Skitty. City. Stop. Okay, I think skitty. <laughs> Sam think Palmer wants to hear about fucked up stories. <laughs> Like, what does that even mean? I had a knife held up to my throat once. <laughs> if that's your kid. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> ask them. <laughs> what is it my doing? I didn't ask for it. Okay. Are you, like, kind of traumatized from that experience? Like, would you say that, like, scares you? No. Not really. Would you recommend? Do like, I, I don't think they were trying to kill me. I hope. Zoe and I are- He's zooming! <laughs> that was, that was the Whoa, best. the tin can will roll! <laughs> this is an emergency because- No, we have to go back this way. You have to turn around this way. Zoe, why? Because why are you going further into Burnaby? <laughs> I don't know. I'm really scared. <laughs> Common sense. <laughs> I'm just trying to get on the highway. I'm really scared. <laughs> okay, we have 15 minutes to get back into Lynn Valley, and I don't know how. We can do it. I don't know where I am. I'm never free. <laughs> um, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay, let's talk about parents. <laughs> Top of your lungs, all of the swear words you can think of. Cuss, cuss words, swear words. I don't know. That are not um, offensive. No, of course not. But like, just get all your anger out. Mm. I need to spill my gum for this. Usually, oh. people hold their breath. 
I was gonna actually ask you that and then I didn't because I knew the answer. Um, no, but for my 18th, I think I might get one. Does it matter? Like, why can't you just get the tattoo because you want it? You just get it. Well, I'm, I, I know, but that's my opinion. Like, tattoos don't have to mean something, you no. know? Like, I, I don't think they do. In my, like, in my opinion, get a tattoo because you think it's cute. Like, yeah. oh, I got this little butterfly because I think it's cute, not because, like, my mom's dad's dad's last name was Butterfly. Like, something like that. Like, or, like, the date or something like that. You don't have, like, I, I don't think tattoos are only meaningful. You can get them for appearance. And well, I'm just like, oh, come on, you <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you, what was the point of doing that? Me and three other friends, we all got a matching tattoo on our finger. I have three tattoos. But then we all got, like, matching ones on our fingers. And we got so much hate for it. People like, what's gonna happen when you're not friends anymore it is so disheartening when you show somebody a tattoo idea and they are they're just hateful so stupid like that's so rude shut the fuck up keep like sorry like yeah. 500,000 people saw this video and like a few hundred of them wait what yeah but all of the comments were like some of them were nice and they're like oh my god I love that that's so cute oh my god we should do this but then others were like that's so stupid. Like, why would you? What happens when you're not friends? Yeah, just wait till one of them has a fight. Just wait till the group breaks up. Like, wow. Okay. I am, I am in shock a little bit. I I, I blew up on TikTok too. Yeah. I got like two million views. Because your titty fell out. <laughs> That's the way to go. I was running to the bus because my friends forced me to take the bus home of which I didn't have money to pay for. So I was running in a tube top and my tube top fell under my boobs and my boobs came out and I- So you I, gave him a treat for a free bus ride. And people were staring at me and then somebody was like, can you like, pick up your sh fucking shirt? <laughs> and posted about it on TikTok and I got two million views. But I didn't get hate, like for the most part at least. The only stupid shit people were saying was like, Oh, it didn't happen. Show me proof. Let me see. <laughs> Which is like, are you like 12? Okay. Can we like circle back to the topic of sugar daddies? What is your opinion on that? Do what you want. Like, get your bank. But like, I don't understand why it's frowned upon. I had a debate with a girl about this topic and I had a debate with a guy about this topic. Me and the girl landed on the same like opinion and me and the guy were like completely polar opposites. Are women who start their own OnlyFans entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. And are they business women? Mm -hmm. Yes! Yes! Okay, thank you. And obviously the guys are like I, Okay, no, but like actually, like they're starting their own business. They're using up social not social, I'm not gonna call it social media. you you've created your own business, you've created a name for yourself, you've you created a brand for yourself. Is it the most appropriate content? No, but who cares? It's legal. It's legal, and that's that. If it's legal, I don't see the problem. If it's legal, I don't see the problem. That's that. And like if oh, one thing the, if you're the guy was like, that's that is disrespecting actual entrepreneurs and actual businesswomen who create like Is it now? Uh, but I'm like, is it? Just wait till you start one. Okay, <laughs> but like, just wait till you're paying the subscription. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, we're Tristan. Should we say hi? Yeah. Hey Tristan! <laughs> How's it going? Good. Okay, why are we moving? Like, why are we moving? Thank God, let's get this. Fun.
fucking show on the road, buddies. Um, what the fuck is on that kid, child's head? Oh, oh, it's waving. Hello. Um, I really it's hope you alien. enjoyed it. It's so weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I really hope you enjoyed our episode. I've me and Zoe just talking for an hour. Um, yeah. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time, guys. Dude, that was so cringy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.